What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about the two-step email, cold email formula that you can use with Pygambot to get clients for whatever product or service it is that you're trying to sell, as long as it's business to business. Okay, this generally works best with business to business. Now I made a lot of other videos with this strategy that are specific to selling certain types of B2B services, but this video is just going to be like a general overview of what it is. Okay, so two-step cold email um, process, we'll call it. Okay, step one. Um, well, okay, let's say we're using Pygambot. Okay, now I'm actually running a campaign in my Pygambot right now, so we've got name, phone, email, message is generally what we've got. So name, choose a female name. Okay, now females get more responses, like most business owners are men. Obviously men 99 times out of 100 are going to respond better to a female rep than a male rep. It's just just the way it works. Um, and also set up a throwaway domain. Okay, you don't have to put a website on the domain. I think it will help if you do have one because it makes you look more legit, but you know, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Okay, and also, you know, you don't want to use your main domain. Don't use your main domain in case you get blacklisted by the spam filters. Okay, that's no bueno. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants that to happen. Okay, phone number. Um, not important. Okay, if you're doing massive blasts to people, then it's possible that the the phone number is, you know, it's possible that the form will, will be submitted, but not the message part. Okay, so you're basically going to be submitting your name, your email, and your phone number to like thousands of businesses and they're all going to call you, <laughs> you know, so like you don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to say, use a fake number. Google fake phone numbers. Okay, if you Google fake phone numbers, you can get a list of fake phone numbers that actually look like phone numbers, and that way you're not accidentally giving out real people's phone numbers, okay? You could do that if like you have a friend that you don't like and you want to like blow up his phone with telemarketers, but it's probably not a good idea. Okay, cold email strategy. What are we going to write in the email? Um, use a throwaway, throwaway email address from your domain. Okay, so if you're choosing Jennifer, let's say your name. Uh, if um, example Jennifer, okay, Jen at I don't know throw or let's say we're selling S, uh, social media marketing agency services, Jen at SMMA profits.com okay easy peasy um, message okay so two steps remember um, two steps step one short email to the point oh wait I forgot the subject line subject line um, one or two words that imply you are a customer so I like to use question, question, or quick question, or let's say you're selling, like you can, you can, you can pick and choose, right? Like let's say you're selling email marketing services, um, which is essentially a newsletter, right? So you could make the subject line newsletter, right? Or you could make the subject line, let's say you're selling, I don't know, lead generation. You can sell, um, I don't know, just write free time. Or, oh, another good one is new clients is good. But that that's generally actually if you want to be more direct in your first email. Okay, so generally I would say just stick with question or quick question. Those are pretty easy. Um, okay, so step one, short email to the point. <sighs> whatever you're selling, okay, you just want to like literally one line um, of whatever, you know, of something, right? Um, and it really kind of depends on what you're selling. Like, let's say you're selling leads, right? And I've got another couple videos that kind of explain um, more in depth about this, but let's say you're selling leads. You want to say, like, do you have any openings in your schedule um, for more clients? Okay, let's say you're selling email marketing. Do you guys have a daily newsletter? Um, or let's say you're selling Facebook ads. Do you guys do any 
advertising, right? Or website design, right? Who did your website? Okay, so you get the idea, right? You're, you're basically, you've got these kind of like neutral questions that don't identify you as a salesperson, um, but will get them to engage with you and, you know, give you some information, right? And then step two, um, two to three sentences that push for an appointment or um, more in-depth email that explains the service. Okay, so let's take this one first. Okay, two to three sentences to push for an appointment. Um, thanks for getting back to me. Um, I can bring you people. Okay, so basically, you know, if you're selling B2B services, the main reason people would hire you is because you're going to bring them new clients. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're doing SEO, they're not buying the top spot in Google. They're buying more exposure to get more clients. Okay, they're not buying Facebook ads, they're buying exposure on Facebook to get more clients. Okay, so that's really what it is. So what I would like to do, or what you should do, I can bring you people who, um, you know, who need your services, right? So for example, let's take plumbers. I can bring you people who need um, whatever to fix a broken sink, uh, clogged toilets, um, copper piping. I don't know. I don't know anything about plumbing, but you get the idea, right? Like, be specific with their services so they know it's not just like another spam email that you're getting. Yeah, it might take you a little bit of extra time to paste those in, but you're going to get so many responses because this short email to the point is like everybody's going to respond to this, you know, because they think you're a customer. And if they're monitoring the email, like who's, this is, they lose nothing by responding to this. Whereas if you send them this right away, it's a little bit more aggressive. They might not respond. Okay. Who need blah, blah, blah. When is a good time to call? Or actually, um, when is the decision? Or when is a good time to call tomorrow when the decision maker is going to be around and is the number on your website still the best way to get in touch okay so this is like more aggressive pushing for the phone call okay and then most of the time what you'll notice is people will say oh call anytime you know um, sometimes people say not interested blah 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 that's fine you know Th that's okay too but if they say to call then just call them you know and pitch them on the phone like it's a little nerve-wracking at first but you'd be surprised how easy it is <laughs> okay okay more in-depth email that explains your service so if you have like this can be a good idea if you're getting a lot of leads right like if you're getting a hundred responses from these campaigns which is totally possible if you're using Pygon bot if you're getting a hundred responses then I mean you could try and make a hundred calls, like probably be more efficient that way. I mean, not more efficient, like you might close more deals, but if you really just want to like weed out any time wasters and not be on the phone and do other stuff, then this is a good idea too. Okay. So like, for example, more in-depth email. Thanks for, and I'm just writing this off the top of my head, obviously, you know, getting back to me. Um, the reason ask is because I run a service that um, helps your niche, your industry get more clients. Or you can actually even just use the same as before, right? I can bring you people who need your service, All right? That's also a good way to do it. Okay, and then um, the way it works is blah, blah, blah. Um, the service normally goes for blah, blah, blah. Give them price. Um, if, okay, and then what I like to do, if you're, if you're doing a longer email, right, um, is to give them some samples, okay, if possible, right? 
to see some samples, go here, right, links. Um, if you have any questions, just reply to this email. Um, and then you can also offer them a calendar, uh, calendar link or click this link to set an appointment. Okay. Uh, calendar. Okay. And then if not, have a nice day. All right. So basically that is, those are the two options that you have. Okay. You can play around with them if you're a little bit more aggressive and you don't mind getting on the phone and you know, like I would do this, but I'm living in a place right now that's not on U.S. time. It's like the complete opposite of U.S. time. And I don't want to be up at like four in the morning making calls, you know, so I'm currently doing this one. However, the success rate for this is much higher. Okay, so if you're not shy to get on the phone and you don't mind to pitch people over the phone, you know, you'll know within five minutes if people are interested or not by questions they ask and stuff like that. Okay, so that is the two-step cold email formula. You can use this with Pygambot. I'll just show you this really quick. This is a campaign that I'm running. 100,000 contact pages, already contacted 22, almost 23,000 people. With this one-liner, what areas do you guys service? And then I will try and pitch them local SEO, probably by email for a couple hundred bucks a month. Hopefully I'll get something out of it, okay? That is how it works. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Oops, peace.